time. Yeah, it's time to get a, more of a rhythm now as, as we get to the latter part of the season. Um, for sure. Um, I know we talked about um, kind of getting it down and, and more, more so um, evened out. So, because I know last game we kind of, kind of, never mind. That ain't necessary. But yeah, I think yeah we're getting in a great rhythm. We're getting in a great rhythm for sure. Um, and just like you said, trying to keep us both fresh each and every time we go out there. It's good that you guys recognize that, hey, I need a blow, we can come in, or, or vice versa. Where does that come from, that chemistry you guys have? Um, just knowing there's no drop off with uh, each one of us. Each each one of us go out there on the field. I can go in and get the job done and get him a blow, and he can come in and get the, do his job as well, back fresh when, when he's ready to come back in the game. How would you describe your style? You're more physical? Um, I think I can do a little bit of everything. I try, I try and base it off being physical, though. But um, definitely think I can get out in space and make guys miss as well. And I got the ability to go to distance. Just haven't got to show it yet. But um, I think I can do a little bit of everything. Uh, can you speak to the play of the line? Because it seems like the uh, improvement, not only in the run game but the pass game, is with the continuity that these guys have had over the last several. Weeks. Um, yeah, that's just us working and, and keep harping on it. Like you said, I, we kind of got off to a slow start, but. We're getting it together at the right time uh, for this run at the end. So, But, yeah, those guys just put the work in each and every day, and the coaches just trying to get fix the small things, small details we was off on at the beginning, I felt like. But it's all getting taken care of now. So, and it's showing. You also said getting more at-bats is also helpful to the run game. Because, like, sometimes you guys get away from the little bit. At the time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like I said, I think last game we kind of stuck to it, um, to the run. And like you said, getting more attempts at the back and just showing, sticking with it, and that's what we did the last time, and worked out for us. Are you Coach relieved Lasko when you see the uh, forecast in Buffalo to be 45 and partly cloudy? I'm trying not to pay much attention to it. I haven't actually played in the cold in a long time, so just looking forward to getting out there and, and taking on the challenge. When, when was the last time that you played in the cold? <laughs> I hadn't even played for like three years, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know, college maybe, and I played in the SEC, so it wasn't that cold, but yeah, long time, what long time. What you a good one-two punch combo? Um, just both having the ability to go out there, um, pound the defense down, um, and go the distance, so and eat, well, um, each and every one, the defense can't really game plan for one guy coming in, this guy comes in, he's going to do a certain thing, this guy, so because we both got the ability to do it all, so I think that helps out a lot. Coach Glasgow missed significant time earlier in the season. What is his return meant? I know Evan did a great job stepping up and everything, but is there some kind of correlation between his return or just the? Oh, uh, I think you can see the uh, run game um, with him coming back because you know he also is the run game coordinator. So things like that. Uh, like I said, we was off on a couple things at the beginning, like just points and ID. Sorry, ID and things like that. But definitely uh, glad to have him back, and he's he's been a huge help coming from the O line and just helping us out with things we can see, reads and things like that, pre snap. So definitely a huge help in the run game. Rico, this is more of a background question, but when did you first pick up a football and fall in love with this sport? Uh, four years old. I've been playing since I was four years old. Yeah. Yeah. Walk me through just um, just, just about this team and you know how good this team can be, you know, trying to get to a Super Bowl for the first time in, you know, over two decades? Um, I think we can be very great. We got um, all around, team all around, defense, offense, playmakers. Uh, we got the ability to be very good. It's just all about going out there and putting it together. That's pretty much what it comes down to, coming down to execution and us playing good complementary football um, all four phases of the game. So, but got the opportunity to be very good. One of the best games you had against the Giants, I saw you dedicated the game to one of your friends. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, my um, one of my friends from North Carolina, um, he passed away earlier in that week uh, from an overdose. Um, his name was Jalen Walker, and um, he actually yeah passed away earlier that week. And he was one of the first people I met when I moved to North Carolina. Um, I didn't grow up in North Carolina. Grew up in Gaffney, South Carolina. Moved there. He was one of the first people I met, so real close friend. And, How often and do you think of him when you step foot on the field? Uh, every time, I think of him, think of my daughters, think of my family, all, all my wives. I think of all my wives and the reason I do it for every time I'm out there. Appreciate it. So, you learned last year from watching TP because he was the number two guy. You were nicked up. So what did you learn watching him and how he handled everything? Um, just make the most of each and every opportunity you get, really, because uh, that's something he did uh, and kind of carved as well. Kept every time you going out there, making the most of each and every opportunity, and then helped him build a, a bigger role in the offense. So that's one thing I learned from him, and that's what I try and do: is make the most of each and every opportunity. How much has y'all's trust 
within each other grown from the start of, the, of your career to, to where you guys are? Well, I think me and him, we've always trusted each other, like, from day one since I've been here, um, talking, just him and, and Zeke as well. Um, but it's definitely, I mean, yeah, I think we always trusted each other. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's necessarily grown or um, lessened or got stronger or anything. We always kind of had the same relationship, same kind of talks um, since I've been here. Yeah, any nicknames pop up for you? You said any so what you now? Any nicknames pop up for you? Nicknames for me? Yeah. Nah. I got <laughs> well, what, can, can you talk a little bit about, um, you talked to earlier about the importance of both you and TP being able to do the same thing. Can you talk a little bit more about that? And so, like, when you come in, it's not a, he's the power back, he's receiving back. Clock, yeah. Et cetera. Yeah, that's just what I was saying, the ability for him to go the distance, me to go the distance, uh, stretch the field, make guys miss in space, uh, just having all the attributes and stuff as a runner uh, when you get the ball in your hands. That's what I was saying and, um, and to the aspect of that. So so defense can't really say, I'm coming in for this. He coming in for a screen pass. He coming in to passing down. Just not being a gadget type player all around. 